Ever since documents leaked suggesting Canada has been spying on Brazil's energy and mining industries, all of a sudden CSEC is in the spotlight. Colin Fries is joining us to discuss. So what is the number one thing that Canadians should know about the Communications Security Establishment Canada? Well, uh, as I call it, the agency CSIC is a spy agency. It spies on foreign people everywhere. Uh, we as Canadians give this agency $400 million a year to spy. And so while there's a lot of people who seem to be kind of shocked that Canada has been apparently caught out spying on Brazil, in a sense that's exactly what we pay this agency to do for us. And so what is the difference between, say, counterterrorism uh, efforts and this kind of situation where it seems like it's really for economic gain? In the federal government there's a distinction between security intelligence and foreign intelligence. There's an agency of human spies, guys running around in Canada chasing terrorists called CSIS. CSIC, the computer spies, exist to spy on all manner of things. That includes counterterrorism, and that includes, I think, some degree of economic intelligence gathering. And so the trick is to just to not get caught, as yeah. they were in this case. The two rules of the game are basically don't spy on your own citizens and don't get caught. All right, well, who does CSEC answer to? CSIC reports directly to the Minister of Defense. What the Minister of Defense does in our system is, is task the agency. If it spies on Brazil, it was asked to spy on Brazil. And who is the watchdog overseer of CSEC? Well, we have a retired judge and a staff of about 10 people making sure that CSEC doesn't spy on Canadians. But what Canada doesn't have, unlike the United States, is scrutiny of its surveillance agency from judges and from sitting politicians. You know, the U.S. National Security Agency gets a bad rap, but it is more transparent to some degree than the Canadian entity that we have here. Hmm. So you mentioned the NSA. How closely do the NSA and CSEC work together? I think what's coming out now is just how closely these two agencies work together. They share personnel. They share computer programs. They share computer systems and technology. They share information. Basically, it looks like from the Brazil disclosures that they are presenting their case studies of spying campaigns and asking each other how they could refine things. I mean, they are part of a broader collective known as the Five Eyes of English-speaking countries. Canada, Australia, Britain, New Zealand, and the United States are probably the most formidable spying alliance in the world. Uh, countries outside of, the, uh, out of this club probably don't like it very much because they are getting their pockets picked. Well, thank you very much, Colin, for this explainer. Thank you very much.